Lectio Divina is more of a, um, a way to enter into meditation. And so if you, I mean, there, granted there is an, an incredible importance to Bible study, um, but using Lectio Divina is a, a little bit more engaging um, because it's, it's about your direct experience with God, right? And that's, that's kind of what we're looking for these days, right? We're looking for more of a connection with God. And for me, the prescribed prayers that are often handed down through various traditions, um, they don't engage me as much. So this is a time for you to really you know, kind of chew on the words and see how they might be applying to you today. So wherever you are, get yourself comfortable because we're going to be seated for a little bit. And I'm going to be reading this passage four times and each time it's going to be a different, um, you're going to be listening sort of in a different way or responding in a different way. Um, so I'll guide you through each of those different ways. And here comes the sun. So if you're seated, just kind of wiggle your hips a little bit and, you know, maybe roll your shoulders back. And if you're laying down, that's fine. Just make sure that your neck is relaxed and your shoulders are relaxed. And if you're seated, best as possible, see if you can sit tall. And that means just not hunching over, but remaining alert. Like you really want to pay attention. And breathing is always a good transition into this practice. So the next breath, just see if you can draw in the breath deeply through your nose. And obviously if you're congested, you um, can breathe through your mouth. And just let the exhale fall like you're just allowing any of the preoccupations or anxieties that you might be feeling just kind of fall, letting go. And with every breath, just feel that unloading. So breathing in, exhale, just unload. So the first time I'm going to read this, it's just going to be hearing it maybe for the first time, maybe for the thousandth time. But listen with open ears. So just listen closely. I'm going to read it very slowly. So this is the actual Lectio. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. 
I say to myself, The Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who hope, whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. So like a rain falling on the ground. Just let the words, let the words just kind of fall into your heart, your being. Anytime your mind gets distracted, go back to some of the words or just go back to your breath. So the second part of Lectio Divino, Divina is Meditatio, Meditation. And this is when we open our ears and our hearts even more and listen to see if a word or phrase it kind of bubbles up. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who hope, whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. So if a word or phrase kind of energized you or, or softened you, sit with those words for a few moments. Just allow them to penetrate or you can kind of like a dog digging on a bone, just kind of gnaw on those for a moment. And again, anytime your mind drifts off, bring it back to that word or phrase and allow it to penetrate like that rain sinks deep down into the soil.
And so for the third hearing of the word, it's oratio. And after we hear the words, we respond as if you're talking to God. So this is what we typically will associate with prayer. So let's hear it for the third time. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. So what would you like to say to God as a response to this? Orazio. Just keep the pouring out of words in your heart. And just like that exhalation, pouring out anything you would like God to know or hear. So I guess the interruption with the dogs is a... <laughs> ample time for me to... <laughs> to move on to the last component of Lexio Divina. And this is Contemplatio contemplation. And so all of the words that we have spoken to God, this is our chance for that inhalation for us to inhale what God might be saying to us. And so contemplatio is, is last in this type of reading. Sorry. <laughs> Typically last in this, this reading because it is probably the most difficult for us to be quiet. So this is our time for us to be quiet. And if you spend a long time in preparation, the quiet comes much easier. Okay. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to read and allow yourself to breathe in the silence and let God infuse himself into you. This is the falling back. This is the true silence and stillness that this practice over time cultivates. Okay. So this is contemplatio. So let's hear it and I'll, and I'm, I'll be quiet for a few moments so you can just allow yourself to breathe in what God might be saying to you or what God might be instilling deep down, downloading into you. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. So let's be silent. So just two minutes of stillness, two minutes of silence. Even if you experienced silence for five seconds, that is enough that is enough to give us that gap that moment of stillness that breath of hope in the midst of our daily struggles that breaking up that light that comes in even if we remember five seconds of stillness Eventually, it'll open up.
and be longer and longer. And it's not necessarily the quantity of time, it's the quality of time. And so Deb, um, yeah, I, I was laughing, Stephen, um, at your comment. Um, this was, Deb, this was from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 25. And it's interesting because I had purchased this Bible almost 30 years ago. And I had read it through and highlighted the verses that spoke to me. And, and it was interesting because I actually had highlighted it. So this was something that spoke to me 30 years ago. And it's just interesting how we can come back to these verses in the Bible and possibly remember how far we've come 